Hi, it's Maggie the Irish Gypsy here to bring you your April 2024 mid-month general reading. We are looking at the last half of April here, roughly, and this reading is for the fire sign of Aries. Welcome, and I hope everyone's well. As always, thanks for taking the time to be here and to watch these videos. So Aries, last half of April 2024 for you. If your sun, moon, rising, or Venus sign is an Aries, if you're cross-watching for an Aries, this video is relevant. So if you know your other sign placements, sun, moon, rising, and Venus, watch those as well for additional insight and perspective. Uh, it's a general reading so they can resonate a little differently for everyone, particularly those of you who are on the cusp of two signs. Watch those videos as well for additional insight. Now, if something really does resonate with you, it really hits home and you'd like to perhaps take a deeper look at it and reach out for a personal reading with me for yourself or as a gift for someone else, feel free to email me at maggie, the number one mcguire at gmail.com. You can see that contact info by clicking uh, the description or title of this video. I do offer a pretty wide variety of readings, all areas of life, different types, lengths, styles, budgets, spreads, or something in there for everyone. Uh, and I'm uh, pretty diligent about timely scheduling if that's important to you and I can get all of that information out to you uh, the same day or within 24 hours so if that's something you'd be interested in please email me all right let's move right into your reading Aries for those of you who need to know I'm using the Royal Deluxe Tarot clarifying with the Gilded Tarot both by artist Cyril Marchetti Aries last half of April We begin with the Seven of Coins, contemplation, reflection, taking a look at what you have invested in something. Are you happy with it? Can it be better? What would you have to do to make it better, or more full or complete? Do you want to do that or do you just want to take what you've learned or gained and move on? With the Seven of Wands, this is about staying, defending, protecting, guarding, standing up for what you believe in. Seven of Coins and Seven of Wands is trying to is asking yourself if you want to um, continue to invest in something, maybe invest in it further, or do you let it go? It could be anything. It could be, you know, job, work, career, relationship. Next, we have the star, a card of hope, faith, optimism, the renewal of that. It comes after the, the tower in the tarot to renew, restore, and rebuild hope, uh, hope and belief and optimism and faith again, perhaps after something difficult or challenging happened to you, either in the recent past or in the long ago past. This is a card of saying, I'm going to devote myself completely to this path and trust that spirit will guide me, meet me and match me every step of the way. So it's a, it's, it's a path of faith too. It's a path of devoting yourself completely and trusting that it's, you know, that it's the right thing to do. This is a card that makes somebody hope again after a period of darkness or despair or illness or challenge of some kind. It's also one of the secondary wish fulfillment cards, but it can be kind of challenging because it's a card of saying, okay, I'm going to make a commitment to this path and I'm going to devote myself to it fully. So it's, it requires some faith to do that. But there's a renewal, a sense that maybe it's possible with the hermit very reflective energy here. This is about kind of going within and asking yourself, what do I really want? Uh, what am I capable of doing? Can I get this? This is kind of it's, it feels like Aries for a lot of you, this is sort of a reevaluation period of looking at something and asking yourself, you know, what do I really want? And, and maybe, maybe having hope in an area that you didn't have hope in before. But there's a sense of do I stay or do I go? Do I continue investing in this or do I, do I invest more in something? And it might not be that you're wanting to leave something like a job, career, relationship, but it may be that you... It may be that you're, the, the question here with the seven of coins and the seven of wands is, do I take it further? Or do I go a different route? What do I really want? Next, we have the ace of coins, a new beginning, could be a practical new beginning, moving, relocating, traveling, new job, new work. with the Page of Swords, messages, information. From the bottom of the deck, the overall focus and theme for the last half of April Aries is the Six of Wands, a card of victory, of triumph, of being seen, of ego. A 
Let's clarify the Six of Wands. There's a sense here, Aries, I'm getting for some of you that a situation that you're in, again, whether it's a job, work, career thing, or a relationship thing, you've been in it for some time, you feel like you've invested in it and quite a bit, and you've, you've had some pretty good returns from it, but you're asking yourself if it's worth investing in further or taking it somewhere new, and in that, you're, it, it, it's almost like you're like, but what if there's something better out there? You know, there's a little bit for some of you here, and maybe the grass is greener, on the other side right but as we all know through life experience the grass is greener where you feed and water it right let's take a look at this overall energy of the six of wands for example for those of you for whom this might be relationship i've been in this relationship for a fair period of time it's been a pretty good relationship uh, maybe the other person wants to take it further, move in, get engaged, get married, something like that. And you're like, maybe you've had some really bad experiences in the past or a bad divorce in the past or breakup or something. And you're like, I, I don't know, should I do this? Can I, what do I really want here in this area of life? Can I, can I hope again that this might be different than maybe this experience I had in the past kind of energy? So the overall uh, energy of that six of wands, that theme, we have strength, facing your fears, your doubts, your insecurities. The chariot, not giving up, success by perseverance, determination, willpower. The magician, the entrepreneur, the self-made person, the person who knows how through work and experience to put things together to manifest what they want in reality. It feels here like you're asking yourself, not do you have what it takes to make something better or take it to a, a different place, but do you want to? Do you do you have, what do you really want? Because that's going to decide whether you have the desire to put the work into it or not. Seven of coins, seven of wands. It's kind of like, yes, you could take this further. You could take this relationship further. You could take your career path further. It would require a certain investment down a different path or something. And it's not that you're not capable of that. But the question here is, do I really want to do that? And in order to do that, you have to, the star and the hermit, you have to kind of, kind of kick back and go, okay, what do I really want here? The star again. The Six of Cups. I think you guys had a bad experience somewhere in the past for some of you. Um, seven of Pentacles again, which is the same as the Seven of Coins. The Five of Wands, the Ace of Wands. It's the same energy of can I... I had... Again, whether it's relationship or career, because it's a general reading and I'm getting kind of mixed energies here. So can I take something further... It feels like maybe you had given up kind of looking at the, these different options because of something in the past, and now the issue, it's come up again, and you're like, can I have hope again? Can I, can I try to make this more, bigger, better? And there's conflict within yourself as to, okay, you have what it takes. You could do it, but do you really want to? And again, in order to discover that, you have to find out, ask yourself really honestly, what do I really want out of this? Because if you make a commitment to take something further and you're not really invested in it, then it's not really going to go anywhere, right? Or you're going to fail. The Four of Cups. So there's an opportunity in front of you. Four of Swords taking a step back, maybe feeling a bit tired, worn out, exhausted. Again, it's a very contemplative time period for you, Aries. What do I really want? What do I really want? Because that's going to decide what direction you go in here. Ace of Coins, Page of Swords. And for a small portion of you, I keep getting that what's holding you back is not just maybe some difficulty in the past in this area, but... A sense of maybe perpetually wanting to keep your options open like well maybe the grass is greener over there or over there the emperor that's you aries 
in charge, the moon, a lack of clarity, some deep-seated hidden fears perhaps there. The devil, the five of cups, the ace of wands. Am I going to regret the decision I made? If, if I commit to this, am I going to regret it? Or if I take off and go in a different direction, am I going to regret it? It feels like you're, the reading ends with you're exploring going down a new path. But it doesn't feel terribly action-oriented yet. And I only, you know, these readings are for roughly a two-week period of time, so it's not a very long period of time. It, it just feels like this is more of an internal, what do I really want here? What do I have to gain? What do I have to lose to, in order to make your decision? Advice, guidance, feedback from Spirit for Aries, last half of April, 2024. <clears throat> The Wheel of Fortune, Divine Timing and Orchestration, God, Spirit, Angels, and Guides at Play, the World. They are, they are presenting you with a clear opportunity to either end a cycle, well, to end a cycle because the world is the last major arcana card, but it's also a card of graduation and moving in, onto a new level. Now, this can be, a cycle ending can be two different things. You can end something once and for all, meaning that you walk away from it. Like you, 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 you ended a relationship or you graduated from school. So that part is actually done. But the world, there's a sense of graduation of moving on and moving up. So this can represent taking something to a new level too. Nine of Cups, Ten of Cups, Three of Wands. Building, having the faith to lay the groundwork and, and build a, a better future for yourself. Also home and family, um, where your heart is so home and family that can mean a lot of things to different people you know that can mean relationship family marriage others of you it can represent just like the property itself like if this is about you know moving relocating um, getting a new property buying a new home or moving into a new place it can represent that as well what spirit here is saying is that it's time for a cycle to end so that you can move on one way or the other. How you choose to move on, whether it's disengaging from this entirely and going in a completely new direction, or whether it's it's ending this part of the chapter of this book and starting a new chapter, moving into a new level, like, you know, buying the home or marrying the person or um, taking your career path in, you know, to a higher level, like, like getting more training or certification or something like that. It's about taking something. It's, it's about the cycle that you're in now. There isn't anything more to be gotten. So what are you going to do? Which, which direction forward are you going to move in here? There's a kind of a strong suggestion here for many of you that it's something that benefits your home and family and the long-term security and stability of that. So I will leave that there. Aries, those are your messages for the last half of April 2024. I hope you enjoyed them, found them relevant, useful, helpful, you know, gave you some food for thought. Again, if this did hit home, if it did resonate with you and you'd like to take a deeper look at it, uh, maybe reach out for a personal reading for yourself or as a gift for someone else, please feel free to email me directly at maggie, the number one mcguire at gmail.com. I would be delighted to hear from you and to work with you. You can see that contact info by clicking the description or title of this video. Uh, I will see you all in a couple of weeks for the May general readings. Until then, stay safe and well. Hope to see you back here again soon. Bye-bye.